People probably don't know the extent to which we will go to solve a problem here and the extent to which we will try without any limitations to provide the best care for a patient to figure out what's wrong when nobody else can do it. The UC Cardiovascular Institute is not just a place, it is more than 60 people dedicated to leveraging research discovery for the benefit of patients in the Tri-State. It is contained in UC labs and UC health clinics across the Tri-State, in pills and in petri dishes. The people are clinicians, nurses, scientists, and research staff whose goal is to bring discoveries from UC labs to your bedside. Innovation within the Institute is being built upon daily to help patients living with cardiovascular disease in its many forms. The Institute spans academic and clinical departments within the College of Medicine to UC Health Hospitals in Cincinnati and Westchester, Cincinnati Children's Hospital Medical Center, and the Cincinnati Department of Veteran Affairs Medical Center. So the collaborative nature here is just amazing. Um, the second thing is the interactions between the physicians and the PhDs, particularly in the cardiovascular area, have been fantastic. Um, Dr. Weintraub has really encouraged this and in fact, in building the Cardiovascular Institute, we're seeking to put these two components together specifically to take findings out of our lab into the clinic. And so this really allows us to um, uh, bring together expertise from a wide variety of areas uh, into solving a problem. And a lot of these problems that we're solving right now and that we're trying to treat with these diseases are very, very complex. So being able to um, bring in minds from uh, different approaches really helps uh, come up with uh, unique solutions to these problems. Regardless of location or a specific research focus or niche, all of these researchers possess the desire and drive to make strides toward finding treatments for the nation's number one killer. Researchers in the Institute continue to gain grant funding from a number of private and federal agencies, including the National Institutes of Health, a very competitive and difficult task in the current state of biomedical research funding. I'm very grateful to the American Heart because they gave me my very first grant to start my laboratory and this blossomed through the years and we've been able to receive over 30 million dollars in grant funding. The work that we do with Dr. Jones in remote cardiac protection uh, has led to the development of a startup company and several patents that we're now evaluating and moving towards preclinical use in humans. We have been able to be named one of the top three cardiovascular research centers in the country among Johns Hopkins and Baylor and the reputation here is extremely strong due to the UC support and providing the infrastructure for all this work. In turn, their findings are presented and published in academic journals over 100 times yearly, roughly half of those involving at least two investigators from the Institute, showing the true collaborative nature fostered at UC. On top of all of this, these same researchers train a yearly average of 40 postdoctoral fellows and 30 graduate students. Everybody internationally recognize what we do here as being important. Documented by our invitation to present our work and, and to discuss our findings in, in, in major symposiums. And I can really see how both, um, both sides, the clinicians and the researchers, benefit from working together closely. For the basic scientists, they have the real potential to see what they're doing in their laboratory translated to improve the betterment of human health and actually to make people's lives better. I mean, that's the ultimate dream of most scientists that I know, is something that they do and have, and have discovered themselves may improve the health of, of patients. And likewise, clinicians like me, getting to go into that laboratory and understand what I'm seeing in my patients at a fundamental level and being able to figure out what's wrong with that patient and how am I going to prevent another patient from suffering from this disease is extremely rewarding. So I don't just take care of patients and go on the basis of what other people say, I can actually figure out problems that have yet to be figured out at the basic science level. Wearing the three hats of teacher, researcher, and clinician, experts at the UC Cardiovascular Institute are truly a unique asset to the Tri-State. We can't show you all of the different spaces and aspects of the Institute in minutes, 
So here are some examples of research that are making a difference in cardiac care, like the use of non-embryonic stem cells to regenerate heart tissue, the discovery of how an ingredient in an average hot pepper can protect cardiac muscle during heart attack, or the use of ultrasound to deliver stroke therapies directly to the clot. It's all happening right in your backyard and will one day be making a difference in ambulances, operating rooms, clinics, and perhaps even in your own home. All of this research could one day help patients around the globe get the best care available that is specifically tailored to meet their individual needs. Luckily for Tri-State residents, this care is already being offered in a convenient location, close to home. The physicians at UC Health Hospitals and affiliated Cincinnati Children's and the Cincinnati VA are researchers in the labs. And much of the basic science first conducted in those labs is carried through to clinical trials, providing innovative, cutting-edge therapies when they are first available here in Cincinnati. The steps that we're making forwards are leap steps because of the new technology and the bioinformatics and everything that is available to the scientists today as compared to 10 years ago. UC keeps in the forefront because uh, they support everything that will enable us to do the cutting edge research and keeping it the forefront of the nation. The UC Cardiovascular Institute is changing the way cardiac care is delivered and will continue to do so. so the integrative nature of biomedical research is allowing us to make rapid progress. And I think that's going to continue. It's really, really an exciting partnership, clearly unique to the Cincinnati area. And I'd say within the United States, there probably aren't more than a handful of centers with the amount of of strengths that we have here in Cincinnati, both on the basic science side and the clinical side, and the potential to really reshape the way medicine is practiced through this powerful partnership. From the bench to the bedside, the Institute is connecting the dots to find therapies for heart disease to improve and save lives, including yours and the lives of those you love. I look forward to the day now when I can walk into a patient room with Dr. Weintraub and be introduced to the patient that survived his heart attack because of these discoveries.